Hey guys, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. We are live here at the Township Auditorium where everything has been going down this week. Now, as you know, I've been interviewing all of the preliminary winners throughout the week. So we have with me four of those winners from last night. Instead of doing two and two, we're gonna have all of you. So good to see you ladies. So we have Miss Inman, Lustra Miller. Then we also have Miss Hilton Head Island Teen, which is Sarah Hamrick. We also have talent winners, which is Miss Bluffentine, <laughs> Hannah Brown, and then we also have Miss Simpsonville, Miss Grace Nasum. So you girls, let's start with this side. Tell me what preliminary competition you won. I won the swimsuit preliminary competition. And what color was your swimsuit? It was bright red. And what about you? I won the evening gown and onstage question preliminary, and my gown was two-tone pink. What question did they ask you? They asked me how my platform was relevant to my generation and people my age. And then something interesting about these two, both of these girls won talent and they both sang opera. So say what song that you, you sang yesterday. I sang Time to Say Goodbye, Conte Patiro. I sang the Queen of the Night aria from The Magic Flute. And what were your costumes? Because I know that's a huge element. It kind of helps you get in the zone. I had a teal gown on with a big overlay. I, had, I also had a big overlay. <laughs> I had a really big black ball gown with lace sleeves. Okay, and one thing that we've been talking about all morning is the scholarship aspect of the Miss South Carolina pageant. I know that it's extremely important to these ladies. Some of them are in school, some of them have graduated, but I just want your opinion. I'm going to e ask each of you the same question, but how do you feel, um, Miss South Carolina, if you were to win the title, how would this help shape education? How could you be a role model in the school systems? Well, one of the great things about not only the Miss South Carolina organization, but the Miss America organization, is that it's the top provider for, for top provider for scholarships for women. And because of the Miss America organization, I graduated from Winthrop University debt-free, and I also have money left over from last year's pageant to pursue a master's degree in fine arts. So if I do win Miss South Carolina, of course, I'll have to take a year off. But if not, I do plan on going to grad school thanks to the Miss South Carolina organization. And I'll be a senior in high school next year, so I'm starting to look at colleges, and I know that any scholarships I win through the Miss South Carolina organization will help me. And so hopefully that will inspire other teens to get involved and participate in the teen program. This is such a great opportunity. I am also a senior in high school, so I'm starting to look at colleges, and I'm hoping to attend Berkeley School of Music to study voice, of course. And this has just been an amazing opportunity. It's going to hopefully help me achieve my academic goals. I'm going to be a sophomore at USC and I think that this organization has really helped shape me as a person and it's also helped me gain the scholarships to gain that education that I really need, especially for my career in fashion merchandising. Okay, and if you guys didn't get to catch the other days when I was speaking with the preliminary winners, just know that the past three days they've been broken off into three different groups, basically three for the teens and then three for the misses, and that's how they're able to choose the preliminary winners. But, girls, even though you guys won this, does this automatically place you in the top 15? No, it does not. It's a culmination of all your scores that you've gotten each preliminary night and then of your private interview. And so, yes, winning a preliminary should help our scores, but it is um, based on all of them. Okay. And I want to ask you girls, okay, what was has been the most enjoyable part about competing in the Miss South Carolina pageant so far? I think just being around all the other young women, it's something about uh, the Miss South Carolina organization in particular. We all feel like we're in a little sorority, like we're in a sisterhood. And whenever people ask me what it's like to compete in the Miss South Carolina pageant, it's almost indescribable. It's something where you can't explain it, you can only experience it. So I think just being around all the other contestants and just getting to know each other has been the best part. Yes, getting to know so many new girls. There's so many new teens that I've got to meet and I have many groups of friends that were in my preliminary groups and then also have similar talents to me or similar interests and so I've made so many new friends and have many more contacts in my phone. <laughs> This is my first year, so I've met so many people this past week, and it's been amazing. All of these girls are incredibly talented, smart, and beautiful, so this has been an amazing opportunity. I think uh, the same thing as all of them said. I think that we meet so many great people, and we make great relationships with them. I know I met my first roommate for college in this program, and I also was really excited for talent. I was the last talent of the whole competition, so I waited a really long time for that. <laughs> 
Well, as you can see, these girls are extremely poised, beautiful, educated, and reasons why they were the preliminary winners. But, of course, you can catch the rest of the competition tonight. They'll be crowning the new Teen Miss South Carolina and tomorrow the new Miss South Carolina. But right now, we're going to toss it back to Dana, who's going to give us our full weather forecast. Hey, Dana. Hey, Columbia, the special Friday edition here live from the Township Auditorium, The Runway. So I guess a little over 24 hours from now, somebody is going to be walking up and down this with a brand new heavy crown on their head. New crown, new sash, That's basically right. a whole new life for right. one year. And this is a huge task, a huge blessing. And I know all these girls, they're vying for the title of Miss South Carolina and Miss Teen South Carolina. That's right, and that's tonight. There's a lot of work that goes into the road. You've got a platform, you've got to train. And of course, the biggest thing is you really got to be fit both inside and outside. Mm -hmm. I like where you said that the inside yeah. and the outside. Really because good. actually swimsuit, uh, the percentage wise is, is one of the lower ones. It really mm -hmm. is about the scholarships uh, or the platform and, and your talent. But you, you got to get in shape when you're being judged in a swimsuit on yeah. stage. So I talked to the ladies about what they do to stay fit. And I was pretty surprised at the, the variety of things that they do. So take a listen. Well, actually, um, a year ago, I was about 70 pounds heavier. Um, so I've gone through a really big transformation with trying to find a healthy lifestyle, learning about what it means to work out, and trying to maintain that as well. Well, I am only four feet ten, but I am doing CrossFit. So I may be the smallest one in my CrossFit class, but I'm definitely the most competitive. Um, I've been working out at Base 10 CrossFit, and then I've also had a personal trainer at Anytime Fitness. Well, actually at Newberry College, I was on the cross country team. So I'm just maintaining, I've been running a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and um, I've been working out, I've been going to the gym, doing a lot of weight stuff and to maintain like my fitness. I'm a naturally very petite person, so I tried to put on a little bit more muscle, but dance is definitely, especially ballet, is a full body workout and it's also a lot of cardio. So I would go to ballet about three times a week, and then on the days I didn't go to ballet, I'd try to go to the gym. But then some days I'd get tired, and sometimes my workouts would be Netflix. <laughs> And of course, the swimsuit competition counting for 15%. So a lower percentage, but still, like I said, when you're being judged on stage in a swimsuit, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to be working in, you're going to be you training. You can't fake a lot, you know? Yeah. yeah, like, I mean, we're all sucking in. We got the Spanx and stuff <laughs> now, but when you're Speak in the for swimsuit. yourself. <clears throat> you have two pair on, but yep. yesterday, <laughs> when I actually spoke with one of the prelim winners of the swimsuit, she told me when she hits the stage, she thinks Victoria's Secret Angel. She just gets into this fierce mode, like and it makes her, yeah, it makes her feel like confident and like sexy and like a woman like Miss South yeah. Carolina. A lot of girls will do like crank out some push-ups before yeah. to get the blood flowing mm -hmm. to the muscles. That was common when I did pageants or like had the bands or were doing the weights, some lunges and stuff just to get you know, the Deep blood flowing to the, to the muscles and also just get yourself in the zone. So, mm -hmm. so we've got uh, your headlines coming up next with Friendy Clairvaux. We are live, uh, live edition here at the Township Auditorium getting ready for Miss South Carolina. A big week it's been for the ladies, a big week tonight for the teen contestants. I'll be honest. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Now, a couple of them. This weekend and this week's been about all these ladies, although Tyler successfully made it about himself throughout the show. But that's it's because it's his last day with us on Good Day it Columbia. Is. We have a surprise for him. And all these ladies are joining us for his final walk with us on Good oh Day. Oh, God, please don't I've do that. actually been FaceTiming. <laughs> We're FaceTiming with the show right now, and here's your goodbye montage. Just like Miss South Carolina gets hers at right. the end of her reign, here's the end of yours. And our viewers will get it what as do, well. What I need, I need to watch? Just... All right, guys, the Desperate for Ratings Tour. Yes, the farming eye for the city guy. That's, that's me and that's him. That is Mama. And you probably heard the stories that all went out about the little itty-bitty baby Penelope. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, here we go. I <laughs> Yeah, it's no surprise that voter turnout was low. Yeah! Oh! The spooks and goblins today. Yeah. Ah! Grease my forgot. fingers. Oh, you're hanging. Oh, man. <laughs> that one, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Slow food's going to be here. Music. Music, the jazz fest. My, uh, <laughs> I love you so much. I don't know. Now look here, we both know you want a car, we both know I want to sell you the car. So the question is, what do I got to do to put you in this car today? 
They say goodbye to their friends and their family, and they begin their journey from citizen to soldier in just 10 weeks at Jackson. Well, tomorrow on a Food Friday, we're heading south of the border. Mmm, that's a good egg. <laughs> Tyler Ryan, watch Fox News. All right, guys. I will see you in on the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. We're glad that you were with us. And uh, well, I think it's only appropriate since Miss South Carolina gets her last walk. Uh, nice. Tyler Ryan's got to do his last walk. Let's yeah. do it. Come on, all these ladies, a lot of ladies, come on. Come on. How about you're the you're the pageant oh, queen? What? Wave, do your thing. <laughs> He's turning so red. <laughs> All right, that's awful. Tyler, I only oh got God. to work with you a short time, yeah. but I'm gonna miss you a ton. Yeah. But like they said, you will be truly missed. Actually, Tyler was the person that trained me to go live, and he taught me the ins and outs. And you'll really be missed. Yeah. Truly. Well, Tyler, we're glad you'll be here. Any final words? Um, it's been it's been four and a half years in the show. It's been awesome. I've got a, a, a cool new opportunity. I'll share with you guys probably starting next week. Uh, thank you to everybody who's invited me to your businesses, and houses, and homes every day. It's it's been awesome. And good luck to all, all these ladies. That's right, ladies. Don't forget the Miss South Carolina Teen Competition is tonight, and then tomorrow there will be a newly crowned Miss South Carolina.